stupid spot. Hiya, Stinky. Oh, it's you guys. Hank and Jethro, was it? Sam and Max, actually. What are you doing? What? I was just taking care of some cleaning. If that's a blood stain, you should be sure to use bleach. I don't know what you're talking about. Hiya, Stinky. What are you cleaning up? Is that a blood stain? Don't be ridiculous, blood. You act like I killed Stinky or something. Grandpa, Grandpa Stinky. Oh boy, intrigue! Oh, this is just cherry marinara sauce for the meatball banana split pie italiano. Well, that does sound tasty. Whatever happened to the original Stinky anyway? He retired, went on an around the world cruise. Stinky hated traveling and water. And the world! Yeah, well, he must have changed his mind. So are you two going to order anything? What's Flint Paper doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. He's been here all morning. Nervous about having a trio of ace detectives snooping into your little scheme, lady? Oh, don't be silly. I just have to move some things out of the meat locker. But I can't if I keep having to refill his java and empty his ashtray. Next time you hear from him, tell Grandpa Stinky we said hello. Oh, I don't think we'll be hearing from him ever again. Because you sent him on a permanent vacation? No, because he was a cheapskate and I refuse to collect calls. What is it with you guys? A rogue triangle is chasing after Sybil. Triangle? <laughs> yeah, that's not really my thing. I specialized in the more circular interdimensional portals. Some expert? Yes, Stinky. You're an expert in portals, like President Max is an expert in diplomacy. Risk is more my thing. Any ideas to help Sybil? Drop that Lincoln guy like a bad habit. We meant more short term, but thanks. What's the special today? Oh, it's just a sandwich I whipped up for the Camp David Middle East Peace Summit in 2000. Roast beef, Munster cheese on a slab of granite on sliced sourdough. Nothing special. A slab of granite? Yeah, you know, for texture. On the kids' menu, I substitute a slab of basalt. It's easier for the little ones to digest. We're ready to order. We'd like the special. Sure, granite sandwich coming right up. I wanted the other special. Oh, sorry. That's for kids only. <laughs> FDA regulations. On second thought, I'm not that hungry. If you say so. Bye, Stinky. Stinky's trademark granite sandwich. I never get tired of looking at this baby. Stop. But what if I don't feel like stopping? Then our insurance rates go up again. I don't know how to tell you this, Max, but I think this new so-called stinky imposter murdered the real stinky. Well, duh. We'll have to keep an eye on her. Want me to break your legs so you can convalesce in an apartment across the street while I occasionally flit in wearing diaphanous gowns and discuss the case as a metaphor for our relationship? Hmm, I'm trying to think of a much stronger word for no. How do you think Stinky got rid of the body? The pie does look a little whiskery today. You'd think the Board of Health would do something about this place. Or PETA, or Greenpeace, Amnesty International, the Red Cross, the WHO, the ACLU, the CDC, or the Vatican. Greenpeace was here last week, but they had trouble dragging the boats along the sidewalk. Have you ever tried Stinky's coffee? I use it to degrease the pistons in my Wii. Well, that sounds more disgusting than it really is. Like Shia LaBeouf! Feel like stopping for a bite to eat, Max? Sure! Sybil's a fast runner. She'll be alright out there for a while. It's fascinating how other people's problems fade away the minute a door shuts between you. I'm out of things to say. And I'm out of minty-flavored toothpicks! Excuse me while I look for some. How come jackalopes get to grow antlers, but I can't? Millions of years of evolution, I guess. Who's got that kind of time? Jackalopes, apparently. 
The fedora never goes out of style. Or further out of style. That's one ugly-looking Buddha. Correction! That's two ugly-looking Buddhas! Sadly, I think my days of pillaging coastal villages are now behind me. I don't think we'll need that until global warming gets much, much worse. It'll take more than that to turn this restaurant around. He looks like kind of a wuss, for a shark. Maybe that's why he's hanging on the wall at Stinky's now, instead of prying open a diving cage in the South Pacific. What did Clark Gable order? Six buckets of pomade and a side of fries. You know, we run into Wizard all the time. I'm sure you do. Mangy lying dog. Whee! We can use this to look into our future. Cool! What do you see? Nothing. I guess we haven't got any future. Oh well, it's been fun. They're nice snowshoes, but I wear 11s, and those look like a size 10 and a half. I don't know which is scarier, the idol or the cowboy hat he's wearing. It's locked. Or someone's holding it shut from the inside. I love your optimism, Max. Who is this JHC fellow? Look, Max, it's our neighbor, Flint Paper. Hiya, fellas. Keep it on the down low, would ya? I'm doing surveillance. Oh boy, real detective work! Who are you spying on? Some mug, name of Bosco. Why are you checking out Bosco, Flint? For a client, Samo. Said she was the poor chump's mom. She was a real no-nonsense dame, with legs up to here. Hairy legs, but still. How goes the stakeout? Getting interesting, fellas. Bosco may be on the move. Yeah? He's acting awful suspicious. Oh, that's just Bosco. How's the stakeout going, Flint? Shh, this is make or break time, boys. He could hightail it out of here at any second. Can we borrow your sign, Stinky? It's kind of important. Well, okay. But bring it back. It's a national heirloom. That's the stop sign that would have prevented the Kennedy assassination if Connolly hadn't run it. Stop! Keep on trucking. Love, Mother T. Not pictured, his right hand. Hey, Gabe Kaplan. Whatever happened to him? He's been masquerading as Gene Shallot, apparently. Peace, love, and all that hoo-ha. Gandhi. Where's the band? I keep hiring drummers, but they keep combusting. And not slowly over time, either. Spontaneously. It's a gong with no gonger. Where's J.P. Morgan when you need her? This your pipe, Stinky? Yes, I looted it from the corpse of a 50-foot Sherlock Holmes. West Dakota. Wizards really made his mark. The Philippines. Come for the cockfighting, stay for the chicken. Lake Titicaca. That can't be real. Stopped. Well, there's another case solved. I heard screaming. Are you all right, Sybil Mike? Whoa! What's happening? I regret nothing! Abe, no! Be strong, my marble darling! I'll save you! As I was saying, there's another case solved. And with minimal casualties. What do you think's on the other side, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Probably some horrible alternate dimension ruled by incomprehensibly horrific ancient gods seeking to bring chaos to this plane. You want to jump in? 
You can read my mind, Sam. God, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs>